All right, this ain't Kaplinger, but technically it is. <laughs> um, but this is a Kaplinger update. I didn't have time to stick around at Kaplinger to do the Kaplinger update. Because I got to get going. It's already after four. And I wanted to leave by four. Uh, <clears throat> So I got to go back down and check on everything at the back as well as um, as well as lock up. Oh yeah, I got to get the key for my camper. I got to lock up my camper before I go. So Caplinger I got another burn barrel over there because <clears throat> uh, Sophie didn't like that I was burning all kinds of weird stuff in the other burn barrel, but got to do something with it. And uh, I'm not paying for trash service. Out in the country, we usually burn that stuff, but I know it's not exactly good for the environment to burn it. But, uh, <laughs> my truck's got an automatic shut off, so that's why I went ahead and shut it off and turned it back on. But anyway, <laughs> so I gotta go down. Lock up my camper, uh, check on everything. I already tripped the coon traps. I already rotated the goat. So I really don't need to check on everything, but I got to go back there and lock up anyway, so I might as well check. So <clears throat> I got some uh, rabbit slash chicken tractors that uh, I bought off of another farmer. They're not worth much, but uh, <clears throat> they work. Uh, one's missing a door, so we got to put a door on it. Uh, they need refurbishing. I don't remember what I paid for and what was donated, but I basically bought a handful of crap off the guy. And then he donated a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> so those could have been donation. I don't remember. It's been so long. I just remember the situation. And David Ray ended up finding the deal, and I just ended up paying for everything. And then he brought it back to the farm. There's a lot of stuff that I paid for and or that was donated, and David fetched and brought back to the farm that he stole and took with him and claimed as his. But nonetheless... Some of it's not worth tripping over. Some of it is. But overall, I'm saving money by not having him around. So getting rid of him was a blessing. I should have done it four or five years ago. But anyways, Caplinger. Got some chicken tractors over there. They need some rehabbing, but they're in decent shape. <clears throat> <clears throat> One needs a door. But uh, other than that, they're good to go. Um, uh, so I took them, uh, my mom and I took them over, uh, took another burn barrel over there. And we worked on the east fence line. Uh, apparently the old fence line was off. The surveyor uh, put in surveyor stakes. <clears throat> And so I've been putting in T-posts to mark, you know, where the uh, surveyor stakes were <clears throat> so I can work on the fence line in the future. So I got the east fence line for the backyard pretty much done as far as the T-posts go. Now we just got to put up the fence. <clears throat> <laughs> I uh, need three more T-posts, uh, seven-foot T-posts, and then uh, and we can start putting up the fence. So 
Then I got to come over here and work on the north fence line over here on this property. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, and I think I got enough T-posts for that, but I might have to go buy some more. And then Mark or Sophie is going to buy this property on the south side. And uh, then once we figure that out, then we'll end up putting up our fence accordingly. If, if we buy that property, then I don't need to put a fence here in the middle. I can put a fence around the outside. And then the animals can run the whole 30 acres. <clears throat> and then we just fence off where we don't want them to go. <clears throat> but nonetheless so I'm pretty sure I killed all the coons now there's only two left that I knew of hello kitties Chinese lanterns. I got a plethora of them growing. Not all of them are ready for harvest yet, though. So anyways, Kaplinger. So my mom and I did the east... Yeah, the east fence line for the back yard. <clears throat> we got that pretty much lined out. We just got to put in uh, our gate, put up the fence... And do the corner post. Mimi's nursing. She says a good mom. But anyhow. She thinks I'm going to go feed them. So she's following me. She's like, oh, food. We got some rain, but not enough rain. For the pond. So, that's pretty much, oh, yeah, while we were on our way to storage to get the T-Post, we saw, hey, little baby, that's your baby, you should be feeding it, not Mimi. It's scared, though, it won't let me get it. I'm just checking to make sure there ain't no coon action in here. Coon ass. No coon asses. Looks pretty good. Uh, your neck does not look good, though. Let me spray her neck real quick. that <clears throat> she's tough though She's surviving. I've been giving her antibiotics. Uh, I give her a shot every two weeks. Take her in to the vet to get her shots. I guess I could do it myself. It'd be cheaper. But <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how to do it right. I should have been paying attention when the vet did it. <laughs> Because it cost me an extra $25 to have the vet do it. But anyways, here's the south fence line. <clears throat> so I'll probably keep these T-posts here just so we know where the south fence line is. 
but uh, yeah or where the property line is <clears throat> but if we uh, if we get that other property then we don't need to put a fence up here um, per se what we might end up doing is putting our driveway down the middle here putting the telephone poles on the fence line <laughs> <clears throat> And then we'll put our fence up coming back here and then wherever the gate is, you know, then we'll uh, do that, you know. But uh, the fence will come back as far as the utilities come back. But we'll cross that bridge later. At least we know where the fence line is. It took seven years to get it figured out because Judas wouldn't do it. So I had to do it between me and a surveyor. So, but yeah, he was supposed to clear the fence line and put in the T-Pus and do the fence work, and he never did. I ended up having to do all the work. But anyhow, so I did... The fence clearing over at Kaplinger. We, my mom and I put in a T-post over at Kaplinger. Because it's supposed to be a Kaplinger update. And uh, <clears throat> we got some chicken tractors over there. Oh, on the way to storage. I forgot to mention this. I forgot. Uh, let me go double check. Make sure my camper's locked up. Pretty sure I locked it, but I'm going to double check. So on our way back from, or on our way to storage, we saw a really good corner cabinet <clears throat> for, uh, free on the curb. Uh, it had a little bit of water damage on the bottom. You know, it had like these little leg uh, thingies. Had a little bit of water damage there. But that's it. No big deal, right? It was in mint condition. And it was free. I was like, booyah. So we stopped and picked it up. <clears throat> we took it over to Kaplinger. So we can use it for whatever we want. Uh, it's a little bulky. But it was free. And it'll be convenient. So we just stuck it in there. So we have uh, more drawer spaces to put stuff and um and then you know it's only five foot tall so we could put stuff on top as well so <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so caplinger's coming along i think that's all we got done for now but uh I do most of my work over there now than I do here. But uh, once we get that more set up, more established, because that's pretty much going to be home base. Once we get pretty much set up and established over there, then we'll come back over here and start working over here some more. All right, cool. I'm all locked up. <clears throat> and then uh, this will more or less be the farm. And then that'll be our uh, home base if you will camping glamping uh that's where we're gonna live <clears throat> for now and like i said once we get that set up get that making money get that established whatever blah 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 <clears throat> then we'll start working our way over here and getting this done and plus i got that 20 acres uh three miles away that i own 10 percent in that I got scammed into in 2012 when I first moved down. Ah, I can start. <clears throat> I'm gonna start buying people out in that as well. So, right now the property values are going up. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna kind of wait till the property values go back down before I start offering to buy people out. <clears throat> and 
and focus over here because that property is pretty much worthless over there. Nobody wants it. It's not doing anything. And so we're going to more or less use it as our food forest and more or less use it as our junkyard long term or short, short term uh, till we start getting people bought out. So once we start Right now, I'm putting all of our miscellaneous stuff like barrels and totes and whatnot over here. But once we start moving over here and working over here, then we'll start taking that crap over there so it'll be out of sight, you know, and that'll be pretty much our junkyard over there because it's already trashy. The trick left it really filthy, nasty over there. So we got to go over there and clean up all the garbage. So when we take our junk over there, our scrap metal, this, that, whatever, pallets and whatnot <clears throat> over there, then we'll start cleaning it up as well. Meanwhile, like I said, I'll start buying people out over there. That's well, I'm going to, I'm going to label that in the future, the Eldo property, because technically it's an Eldorado Springs jurisdiction. And the Kaplinger property is technically in the Stockton jurisdiction, but uh, I think <clears throat> the township that th all three properties is in is either Washington or Ava. One of the two. I have to look it up again. But uh, yeah. And my truck crit one running. It's only on a five or ten minute timer. And my air conditioner doesn't work when I have this, uh, like the optimized idle air conditioner system. I was going to go get that AC unit, the extra AC unit from Kaplan or put it in a big truck. <clears throat> but uh, I just didn't have time. So it's blazing hot in my truck right now. But, uh, anyways, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll just idle it a little bit, get it to cool off before I take off, because I'm about to take off here in a minute. <clears throat> I'm just basically battening down the hatches. So... <sighs> Make sure everything's locked up. Make sure everything's secure before I take off. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, Kaplinger's coming along. Uh, basically, we got the building, we got the garage. Once we get the garage cleaned up and get a garage door on it, we can start moving our tools into the garage and start using the building as what we intend on using the building for. And then uh, and get it finished. And then... We're going to start working on the camping and glamping stuff. But we're going to get the uh, yard cleaned up and set up for her rabbits and chickens. <clears throat> and whatever else she wants to do on the side to make extra money. Aromatherapy, whatever. And, um, and uh, basically get the location ready for next year for camping and glamping and then um, that'll be her revenue source more or less so all right on the road again okay bye